Stuart and Ricky. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Before we go into the game on Sunday, Stuart, we'll come to you first. You want to tell us, obviously, you played for Ballyclare Comrades. Yes. Um, a wee bit about your playing career for those people that don't know. Yeah, so uh, I started playing for my debut for Ballyclare was in the year 2000 in January against Tobermore United away in the Irish Cup, a game that we uh, lost 4 2, but it was quite memorable because. I think it was earlier that week, uh, the club had a lot of players had, had left and um, I was actually playing on the Friday night for the reserves and I got taken off at half time in that game thinking I played badly and then the next thing I was told to be up here Dixon Saturday morning yep. for the bus up to Tobermore. Had your call and up. I got my call up and then unexpectedly I, I started the game, so I did. Um, and then just for, from there I played, that was under Paul Byrne, I played under uh, Jamesy e. Kirk and, and Gordon Chambers and then I also played under Eddie Hill a bit and it helped Eddie with a bit of the coaching. Um, so I think all in it was about 300 games and uh, just one or two less goals than, than 300, <laughs> so it was, um, no it was 11, I, I know because I remember going off by You remember, <laughs> <laughs> you don't forget things like no, that, sure you no, don't? No, not at all and uh, yeah so I think in total it was about 15, 14, 15 years. At the club over two or three spells. Yeah, so a really good career and you really enjoyed it? Well, I don't know if some would say it was a good career, <laughs> but, uh, but I, I, I really enjoyed it. I, I, I loved my time up the Comrades and uh, whilst uh, I, I wasn't born and bred in, in Ballyclare, for, for me I really sort of bought into the, the, the culture about the club and about the town and yeah, I had some fantastic times and met some great people. We adopted you as a Ballyclare boy. Hopefully so. <laughs> Hopefully so. <laughs> Who was your favourite manager? Oh, that you played under? G Jamesy. I was going to say, Jamesy's a legend, isn't G he? Jamesy is someone I'd still be in contact with every every couple of months. He was Jamesy's pet, by the way. Yeah. He <laughs> <laughs> <I> was. <laughs> uh, me and Jamesy just... I, I actually played with Jamesy whenever I made my debut. Jamesy was playing, and I definitely think he, he took me under his wing a bit. So he did at the start, and then he was uh, made manager. And yeah, he just... He just Play, players want to feel that they're playing for a manager who you know gives them everything and, and hopefully in return sort of I've done that for Jamesy. And Ricky did you play under Jamesy as well? Did indeed yeah, yeah. Jamesy signed me actually and uh, straight away my captain. Um, Jamesy signed me whenever I was 18 from Linfield Swifts and obviously being at my hometown club it was, it was a good move and a proud moment. Uh, my debut was away to Ban Bridge um, scored two goals, was flying. Um, it was also quite memorable because I only got back from Magaluf uh, two weeks in Magaluf <laughs> on the Friday morning, my first ever holiday away, and uh, didn't think I would have been playing. Um, I was starting, scored two goals in the first half in my debut, so it was absolutely buzzing. And um, just sort of the story of my career, I was going around the goalkeeper for a hat trick, probably told this story millions of times, <laughs> and he smashed me and done my immediate league once and didn't play again until December, and that was. Late August, didn't play again until December, you know, but um, went on to play just shy of 200 games, not just as many games as uh, Stuart A, but a few more goals, I'll say. Oh, <laughs> I think it's 69 goals, um, going from the social media and that there, and um, also captained them for, as well for a short period, but yeah, fond memories, wish I had, could have played more, wish I probably took it a bit more serious and looked after myself a bit more, you know, but... Ten years on and off, uh, and some good times, yeah. Yeah, football's changed so much though, isn't it? I mean, now, yes. you know, obviously you've got all the nutrition side and they're so well looked after, but I was going to say in the olden days, it's not, it's not that, you're not that old, Ricky. <laughs> but yes, it's a lot more knowledgeable now. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned there about being injured now of the game and also, you know, not playing anymore, but you obviously are playing in the over 35s. Yeah. Um, how important is it to still be involved in the game with the boys and the change room banter that, that never you never really replace it. Yeah, no, massively important, um, especially now, you know, with a lot of mental health and all that there involved. Um, there's a few boys there, the, the game we played against Ansfield the, the other week, I haven't seen them for, apart from social media, which is really real life, I haven't seen for years, and it was great just to meet them again, have a yarn, and I just like um, picking up where we left off in, in here, yeah. years ago, wasn't it, you know? I, I think it's really, really important, and I think we're, we're all looking forward to Sunday. 
And what was it like, Stuart, being back in, in the changing room as it is? Has it changed much since you two have been in it? It's uh, ch- changed a fair bit. It uh, l- <laughs> looks a bit nicer than it did back in the <laughs> A bit the fresher, day. a couple of paint. A bit fresher, a bit more paint. Um, and you can even see looking about, you know, the different signs up in the badge on the wall and the, the TV up on, on the screen, you know, or up on the wall. Things have obviously, you know, went down a level and things are more professional than the, the, they were back in the, the good old days. The good old days. Yeah, yeah. And Ricky, you mentioned Sunday, of course, which is mm-hmm. why we're here, um, the memorial game for yeah. Jackie Cabraith. Do you want to tell us a wee bit about that and what's happening on Sunday? Yes, uh, Sunday down at uh, Clandy Boy, Bangor's Ground. Um, we're playing against NA Masters and um, it's also for Charlie, chest, heart and stroke. Yeah. Yeah, and it's going to be a big day. Jackie's obviously very well known around um, Irish League. He, he was associated with Bangor as well as Bally Clare. And he's very, very well thought of. Um, I think there's going to be a big crowd turning out. There's going to be ballots and that there too. And all the information's on uh, social media pages as well for anyone that wants to, to check it up and come along. And sure, I take it you knew Jackie Gabraith because he is he is like an RC yeah. legend. As, as Ricky said, so many clubs will know him and he was involved with so many. Everyone knows him. I, I actually got to know him a bit through Jamesy and, and Dinger because they were the PSNI and, and Jackie was there. Um, and I, I got to sort of know him through association of, of, of Jamesy and Dinger and then when he came to Ballyclare and coming up to a, a few games I got to know him a, a bit better and he's a larger than life character and hopefully on Sunday we can, we can do him justice. And who is going to score the goals then on Sunday? I'll tell you who's not going to score the goals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll leave that one for Ricky. <laughs> hopefully I can chip in with, with a couple. Um, we haven't played that many games but did score a hat trick in my last game, like so. You had to get that in. I had to get that in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think a found my level now, you know. But yeah, I think we're just really looking forward to it. It's going to be a, a good ground, an Irish League ground, and that there too. And as I say, there's lots of things happening after it as well. I, mean, I think there's a few guest speakers and and then there are our match to play later on as well. So. And do we know forward. any? You're obviously playing the NI Masters team. Yeah. Do we know any of the players involved in that at all? Not, not overly too sure. Who. Who plays for there is a lot of ex Irish League players that do play for them. Again, I think the squads change uh, from time to time, especially when, when they're over 35. <laughs> they maybe can't play as often as, as they would like. But yeah, there is a few ex Irish League players playing for them as well. So it should be a good game. And manager is Andrew Arthur's on the day that has done so, you know, so much work um, for Sunday. Um, what's it like playing under Andrew? Do you know what? Before I answer the, the question, Andy has been brilliant to all the all us old boys and bringing us back into the the, the, the comrades yeah. world. So he has. Um, he's never off. There's a WhatsApp group and he's never off promoting and reminding us and, and different things like that. Um, it's brilliant whenever you turn up to the first game that we played last year. And Andy turns up and he's got the full body clear shirt and tie on. <laughs> but, and and in terms of having everything for us, you know we're turning up. Um, for a, a, a charity game and Andy has all the kits sit, sitting, all our teas, coffees, all the rubs and, and everything. Yeah, everything. So um which is brilliant. Um so hopefully on Sunday and Andy sorry, I said James was the best boss ever. It's actually Andy Arthur. Oh you have changed. <laughs> uh, but no it's it's uh, great to be doing it for Andy and and really what Andy has done for all us is put everyone back in touch with each other. Yeah. And when you look back on your 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 football and your careers Winning's nice, winning's important, but for me, it's all about the memories and, and the friendships you make. And sometimes you don't realise what you've got until you don't have it anymore. No, and by An- Andy doing this, it's brought us all back together. And uh, well, I know, for, speaking for myself, really looking forward to Sunday and seeing all the, the, the old guys again. Yeah, and as Ricky mentioned there about mental health, it, it is so important to stay in touch with people and the friends you meet through sport. I mean, they're your friends for life. Yeah. So it is. It's vital. Yeah. No. It's uh, you, you're 100 percent right, and I think you're seeing it more and more now that when people drop out of football, you know, not as many of them stay in coaching or managing or, or whatever. You know, it's basically once their fin- their playing days finish, that's them finished with it. And you know, you, you whenever you're doing this every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, well. I was Tuesday, Thursday, sorry, I reckon it was maybe a Thursday because <laughs> he was injured on Tuesday. Depends if he was out yeah, partying yeah, or... Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. But uh, whenever you're doing it, you know, this becomes part of your life and then when you don't have it anymore, you sometimes don't realise how big a part it was until you, yeah. you, know, you, you fill it with something. So uh, 
yeah so yeah it's good for not just the physical aspect but it's uh, the, the mental health side of things as well and Ricky, you were saying earlier, is, is Andy famous for his robs? Or infamous, sorry, or his robs? Infamous, is, I should say, maybe. He is, we used to keep him going. Like, call him magic hands, and uh, I think he used to enjoy it a wee bit too much, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but um, he's, he's brave for Bally Clare, and he'd do anything for Bally Clare. He's been associated with Bally Clare since the 90s, um, long before Sturdy even played, you know. And he'd <laughs> been for a while. Uh, and again for him to take on this role of organising and all this here for us um, not only is it good for us it's, it's brilliant obviously for for the main man that this is this is for on Sunday for, for Jackie and his family um, it's Sturdy knows management I haven't uh, dipped too into that yet but management and organising it's, it's a full time job almost you know and um, I, it's definitely doing Jackie proud like for sure yeah. yeah it's a lot of work and he still does so much for the club we would yeah. all be lost without him I have to say um, he's a legend himself. He's getting that way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is indeed. And Jackie, I mean, we can't emphasise enough what a character he was, and he is so missed around Dixon Park, and I'm sure he's he's missed actually in, in all of the Irish League. So, Ricky, do you just want to remind us on Sunday um, the date and the time, and just how people can get involved because there's still time to, to get involved with it. Was well, this Sunday? I haven't checked the date. Now. <laughs> so it's the tw- Twi- 26th of March. So it is, right. yeah. and it's a 1pm kickoff down at Clandy Boy, so it is. Um, Andy has us well there before 1 o'clock, so we're not yeah. just turning up for a, for, for a bit of a kick about it, he'll have us well drilled, um, and as I said, it would be great if we could see lots of, lots of comrade supporters, um, friends and family of Jackie as well, and, and hopefully we'll make a, a good day of it. And Jackie would have absolutely loved it, and we will all be thinking about him on yeah. the day, and I'm sure it'll be a really, really good occasion. Um, I have a feeling that Andy might be doing rubs again after the game. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> that age now. <laughs> yeah, before and after, I think, yeah. But I'm sure once we get in the social club after it, it'll be all right. We'll, we'll be all right then, eh? Yeah, it'll be a great day. Thank you so much, sure. I thank you so much, Ricky. No problem, no problem. Thank you.